Zero FX Base. I'm going to do this quick menu on this preset because I think it's so good. So we're uh, playing around with FT8. So let's go menu and then on number two you've got this section called preset which I thought at first was really an FT8 menu but it isn't. It's actually a, um, a group or a memory bank for groups of settings. So out of the box you have normal of course um, but then you have the built the pre program one by icon which is called FTA and if, if I select that um, click yes all the settings now um, are in there for FTA okay that's fine and we, we expected that with this firmware update but this is what I wasn't expecting which I think is such a good idea you go menu you go to preset now let's say um, you've got your own settings that are different for a different mode, different type of digital, anything you, you fancy on the radio. You can add your own preset. So I've added one here. So I click yes. So now my settings for FT8 have gone in there. So um, th I'll just lastly show you that if you go to preset and you want to create your own one, it looks like there's only five, yeah? Unless you can add more. Let's have a feel. Yeah, it looks like there might only be five, yeah? So let's go on number five. So we can go into the radio, put all the setti settings in that we like, and then we go, we hold it down, and then we look, we click save to preset memory. Sorry about the glare here. So, and then, so we hit save, save, right? But we can also name it. So if we hold down the preset name, um, and then we can write it, so the right you can scroll to the bottom and right yeah or you can go back cancel the edit so hold it down uh, edit the preset memory preset name so we go ff enter then we go back click no so there's all the different settings you can have so you get the idea. The idea is that you can save names and save settings in the preset memory. Uh, I think it's very handy. M0FXB73.